installations he's getting pretty busy you may want to call ahead
Hi, Annie. Hi, Crystal. Oh, ho, ho. look at that beauty. 457, too. Mm -hmm. That could cause a lot of trouble with that one. <laughs> I know this radio. It has a really cool feature. These buttons here, called Pete and Repeat. It's uh, to record when somebody is transmitting to you. One button records and the other one plays it back over the air. So you can show all your buddies how they sound. They definitely are a pretty radio. They have them here. Oh, cool. So you can buy your own module. You can buy your own module. Just like what's in this 2000. The Texas Star 350. Fat boy. <laughs> and a big boy. Ooh, ooh, look at this one. That is a big box. Can we see inside of it? No, it's got filters on the fans. It's a beauty. A couple old gray amps down there, a 300 and a 150. Galaxy 250. I like that one. Barbara's got the light on on her phone. She's shining it right at me. A couple of little Cobras up on the top shelf there. Oh, 148 right there. And look at that little Texas star. box I wasn't recording <laughs> I, it was already on record and I shut it off all right they have 102 whips here and you can't beat the prices on these $29 each uh, any of you that are familiar with that you know that's a great deal cuz customs remember the only place you'll find them at that price Box. Okay. It does 120 watts PEP with no tuning whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? It's a cool looking radio too. You should be doing this interview, not me. Do we have an email? Because I don't get it. I don't get it. It's uh, 120 watts. Let's see the but face. It's the size of a Cobra 29. That's a beauty. Yeah, it's got a MOSFET amplifier in the bottom of it. Oh, wow. And it has that. two cooling fans to bring air in. That's fantastic. That's the exhaust there. <laughs> yep. AM, upper sideband, lower sideband. No FM? No FM. Look at that. Whole bunch of D104s. Rebuilt by our local 262. Justin's doing a great job with these things. If you're a fan of D104s, you can get them here. Look at that, some 2950s in the box too. You can have it on going down the road, and it'll, like it'll jump out of the freight or something, go to Buzz and it's carrying on a slap across the top of one of the call where it's on that. Can you even imagine what requires that cable? What you got, man? Look at the size of that. And here's where all the good stuff happens. Oh, look at this. 
Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Who's doing more interesting work at the moment? <laughs> what kind of radio are you working on? A Galaxy D8 749. Got it. I just wanted to show the cable. Got to put the lid back on it. Send it on to the customer. Fantastic. Is that the one I spoke to you on earlier? Yes, sir. That's nice. I wish I had had the camera on in the car when I heard that. Yeah, that's the one that I was working on then. Just putting all the finishing touches in. And what are you building, Angelo? I'm uh, building an 8 uh, uh mobile amplifier, a 2879C. Uh, amplifier. It's actually going to a customer in DC, and it's going to be on his competition amplifier. Nice. <laughs> All the stuff that is way, way, way beyond me. <laughs> uh, man, you can do it. Takes a little bit of. I'll leave it all to you. I'll just stick to making the videos. <laughs> Since our last video, we've had some questions. Your wife answered some of them about the address. I did take a good close-up of your phone number. And you said you had an email? Yes, ma'am. It's customcb at AOL.com. All right. Did you all hear that? Customcb at AOL.com. And they're working on a website currently. They do ship only to the U.S. So if Angela, you can tell them this. There's plenty of parking out there for big trucks, isn't there? There's plenty of parking. We had five in here last week. They were scattered from this side to that side, but we got all five trucks done. It was Saturday last week when we had them in here. Now, I've watched you on Sundays. That's when you do your installations, isn't it? Yeah, we do them both days. We do them on Saturday or Sundays. It don't make no difference. As long as we, when they come in, they have to tell us what's going on, and we have to wait as in the order that we've got they come in. So. Uh, sometimes we might have one person in here. Sometimes we might have, like last week, we had probably five or six trucks at once. So you're getting pretty busy then with those installations. Oh, yes, ma'am. There's only a few of us that actually do the installations, you know, in trucks or in cars. We've done some in newer style uh, Camrys and stuff like that. It's kind of funny that you would think of TV in a Camry, a new style Camry, but we have done them uh, in newer vehicles. We do them in big trucks. We put amplifiers in boats, you know, cars, trucks, uh, 18 wheelers. We just about do everything. We even, we even, uh, for some of the guys that worry about tuning coax, we tune coax and cut it. We carry the 213, and uh, most of your coax is here. Uh, so we try to we try to keep a wide variety of what we handle. We we got some uh, space amplifiers, mobile amplifiers. Uh, we build power supplies. They leave here just about as fast as I can get them built. So sometimes there ain't one on the shelf, but if they uh, if they call the wife and set up for it to get work done or uh, let us know what they need and we can usually get it done in a timely manner. Now would it help if they, for installations, gave you a quick call first as well? They can, they can give us a call to see if anybody's already uh, you know, here to get the installation or they can actually call and set up an appointment so you know, even if I'm here and I'm uh, working on something, Just I can have somebody else here that I'm uh, comfortable with starting the installation and we can make sure we can both at the same time. <laughs> now, the other question that we got was, I saw all your new radios, and I love your CB radios. You got some great ones. Um, they did ask if you ever do refurbished ones. Uh, we used to carry some, but it's hard to get the refurbished, you know, uh, and we do we do, do some used stuff because we do a lot of trade-ins, this, that, and other, but uh, we just don't have a lot right now. We, uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff is selling faster than what I thought it was going to be, so we're trying, to, we're trying to keep up right now. That's fantastic. So basically just keep coming and looking and because those deals are here. You just got to come and look for them. 
because you never know what's going to show up. We do. We, sometimes we have stuff in the back that hasn't been checked out. There's views that we get on trade and just that note. So uh, if you don't see something out front, just give us a I'll let the wife know. She'll come back and ask us if we got anything that we got on trade. We had to check that. We can let them see it and then check it out right there in front of them. Perfect. Now, I also noticed you have a lot of parts for older radios, so if they called, maybe you could tell them if they have, if you have it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, most of all our parts for radios and stuff is in the back. We do have some stuff outside. Uh, of course, there's a lot of older, you know, Roger Beats and stuff like that on the wall back there, but most of all your parts is going to be on the shelf in the back where we work at, but we do have a lot of parts. Well, that certainly does help a lot of people, and I know that you repair them and have been repairing them for a long time. Um, as a matter of fact, I understand the same gentleman that was repairing them before is still doing it, isn't he? Yeah, he's right back there. Cuz, come here. <laughs> he's hiding. Yep. He's back there hiding. He's working there. That's my cousin, Eric. Uh, that's where we got the name Cuz Custom from, so your cousin's a source. Uh, he does all the radio stuff on the weekends, and I'm, you know, I got plenty of amplifier bills back there, so I'm usually on the amplifier during the weekend. So we, one's on one side of the beach, one's on the other side of the beach. We stay wide. Of now you said you build amplifiers, correct? Any of them that you see with the Cus Custom sticker on them and the, the state uh, logo is one that we build ourselves. So, you know, if, when you get a chance to go in the back, you'll see there's we're one on the beach that I've already started, so you can see it's, it's in the motions of getting worked on it right now. And how long have you been building amplifiers for? Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's even hard to... It's hard to say. I've got, I've numbered them since I started. And I think uh, regular amps, which is Toshiba amps, and uh, like we got HGs and DEIs and all that stuff as far as regular amps go. I think I got a, the last one I did this week was 1162, is how many I've done. The, 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 2879C boxes, I think I'm at 160 or 170 or something like that. How many I've built the new SGC that we've got? Several years. Yeah, I've been in it for a good while. I know, I know since she was a uh, little, so, you know, she's 10. So it's been, we've had antennas on the house for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you want to say hi? Hello, Doing fantastic. Now, you are the person that I met before when Mr. Freeman was here. You was repairing even then, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. I worked for him for about five years. I've been, doing, I've been working on radio for probably 15 years. I've heard some good things about your work. We're trying to do the best we can do. <laughs> and I'm sure all your customers appreciate that. I will let you get back to work. And I want to thank you for coming out and doing the interview with us. Barbara's having fun with the massive binoculars. Can we see her looking at us? <laughs> you see him making fun of the fact I, that I'm on a step stool? I could see the dirty look you're giving me even through that mask. That's because you're making fun of me for the step stool. I know I'm short. She's short. <laughs>
costumes. See, I could have so much fun with all of those. <laughs> Nice tunable tip Francis whips. I have two of those with the uh, gold colored coil. I also have two of those that have the white center and even the ex external coil. Any kind of a mobile antenna you can imagine, it's here. <laughs> right, they even have the Workman B100. Look at all the mounting brackets. <laughs> Isn't that a little cutie? Pass-throughs. Oh, I hadn't even noticed these before. Look at that, mounting brackets. Because as you know, whenever you buy a used radio, the brackets are hardly ever with them. They have quite an assortment here of them. Super modulation. All the external speakers. Even PA speakers down there. And we have a weather channel playing in the background. Whew, look at that magma. With some serious holding power.
actually fits down into a Cobra 25. And how powerful is it? I think it'll be about 65 to 70 watts. Nice. That's kind of like the RFX 75 kits. Right. You can hot rod them out a little bit better. But, uh, As I stated earlier, there's plenty of room for big rigs. 1107 Angelo is inside that truck right now, helping to uh, try to stop a squealing problem. <laughs> We're in a CB shop and Barbara's looking at power tools. <laughs> Love my tools. <laughs>